It's my pleasure to introduce our new head football coach, Matt Campbell. Well, I'll say this. I'm truly humbled, honored, and privileged to be a part of this great university and this great football program. When we were thinking about what our next head coach was going to look like, we wanted somebody to be a head coach, somebody that could bring to the table uh, their staff. I love the fact that he was the son of a coach and his mom had been a, um, an administrator in school, so education really mattered to him. And then I love the fact that he was really committed to his family. So I came in in Coach Campbell's first recruiting class and right away, whenever I heard he got the job, I could just sense this excitement, this excitement with him around the program. I had grown up a Cyclone fan. My dad used to coach here when I was little and uh, he was really able to sell me on changing a culture. When Coach Campbell arrived here, uh, no one really knew what to expect. I mean. All our coaches just got fired. We're trying to, you know, figure out as a, as a team what we're trying to do, where we're trying to go, and then you bring in a whole new staff. Uh, luckily, Coach brought in everybody that he had worked with in Toledo, and you know he brought everybody that knows what they're doing. Everyone's on the same page, and you know, going into that winter, we uh, we tried to establish a new identity as a team. It made us work very hard. It was probably the hardest winter I've ever been a part of, but it made us a way better program. You know, Coach Campbell had the opportunity. Uh, to come to Iowa State from, from the University of Toledo and you know one thing that doesn't happen very often in, in Division I athletics um, and, and really anywhere is the head football coach uh, believing in the people that he had you know with him. From an organization standpoint I think it allowed us to have the opportunity to uh, be aligned from day one. The trust that we've built within our staff it's been a priceless concept that gets overlooked. I think being able to be together, to, to know how the other person thinks, uh, to know when they're up, when they need your help, and, and I think we've been able to do that here as a group. This isn't the football factory. In a lot of ways, I've always said this is the ability to be the life factory and the ability to grow from an 18-year-old young man and leave our program as a 22 or 23-year-old man that's got the opportunity to have every tool in his toolbox in life to go be successful. From day one, he adopted uh, all of the things we had in place academically at Iowa State. Um, when he showed up, we started with a 2.18 GPA, so with the first two rows and with the class checking commitment and with the no tolerance um, for missing tutors, we were able to move our GPA to a 2.81 in one semester. From there, it's only gone up. Um, we finished this last semester with the highest GPA on record at Iowa State University, which speaks to the commitment Coach Campbell has to our academics. Coach Campbell's commitment to supporting the transition of life after football is done through a direct partnership with the Iowa State Letter Winners Club. From day one, he made it a priority to welcome back former athletes and has continued to foster that welcoming environment. Under his direction, I have the opportunity of overseeing a mentoring program that directly connects former and current football athletes with focus on career preparation and building habits that promote success in life. Going into the first fall camp with Coach, uh, no one really knew what to expect in that way either. Um, really, we had to find out who we were as a team. For old Joel Lanning to take it to the house again, that's five, wow. To be honest with you, I, I'm grateful for our 22 seniors. Those kids have done a remarkable job for us. I appreciate them greatly. I think you saw even in the fourth quarter of the game, those kids just continue to play really hard. I'm disappointed that obviously we couldn't put them out with a win, but I will be honest with you, they, those guys have sacrificed so greatly for, the, for our football program. Really appreciative of them and certainly what they've done to make sure that this program is going in the right direction. Programs aren't built in one day and we knew it would be hard. Um, you know, while the season was really tough, at the same time too, we had high expectations for ourselves going forward because we understood the vision Coach Campbell was trying to give us to trust the process. You know, after year one, one of the great things for this program is it was a group of seniors that demanded at least change, that they created hope that Iowa State football soon had the opportunity to win and be successful. Coach came up to me and asked if I would do do some quarterback and you know try to play both ways and help this help the team out in any way I could. Your opportunity, your shot, but it's gonna take discipline. It's gonna take one play at a time. 
and it's going to take an elite team effort. Is that fair? The moral of that story is you just got to keep playing no matter what happens, um, no matter how bad it gets, because we were down 14 and Joel. nothing in the blink of an eye. I'm going to talk to you like you're going in. So it's the first start of my college career. We're at a point in the season where we're two and two, and we're really at a crossroads. Um, for us, it's kind of the theme of what the season's been, coming up the rough side of the mountain. It's what Coach Campbell's preached to us. It's what really is what this program's all about. So, you know, for us, no one expects us to win the game. You know, it's kind of like everyone's counting us out, and that, that's what makes this play special, is that's always going to be the case. Hey, 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 I got something to say. Hey, when we was losing, I still love y'all. We winning, I still love y'all. <laughs> Beautiful day here in Lubbock. Homecoming weekend for the Red Raiders. To Lazard for the easy score. The most prolific receiver in school history. He's got a finish. It's a well-documented story. You're an All-American linebacker in one year, second in the Big 12 in tackles. How did you personally do this in 2017? Teammates and coaches. I can't do it without my teammates and coaches. So year two was, um, was the change. It was applying what we hoped our vision would be and actually giving it real credibility. You watched an Iowa State football team that sat at two and two and all of a sudden exploded onto the national scene. And obviously some great wins against Oklahoma and TCU. But I thought what was really big for this team was to start to sustain success. Um, learning how to win football games and capping it off at, with a Liberty Bowl and a first bowl, bowl appearance in a long time and a first bowl win in quite a while. Um, I thought it was a powerful statement by that senior class that Iowa State not only was, was here, but Iowa State was ready to compete for the long haul. And, um, you know, I think it was, we were able to take that energy and that emotion and really apply it to every aspect of our recruiting because now not, we're, not only were we selling a program, but we were taking a vision and we were giving it real credibility. Um, and really from there on out, it's been a, it's been a powerful stage for this program. I chose Iowa State because I wanted to go somewhere and do something for the first time. And here at Iowa State, that's a perfect place to do it. And when Coach Campbell called me and told me his vision and his plan as far as uh, being here in Ames and at Iowa State, um, I was all in. I was all on board. And um, you know, that was the main reason why I came.
having the opportunity to get selected to play in the Alamo Bowl last year uh, was fantastic. You know, I've been here at that time 14 years, I've been here 15 years now, but I, I had the experience in a prior life at a different school to play in the Alamo Bowl. And I'd always said that the Alamo Bowl, to me, is arguably the best environment of any bowl game in the country from top to bottom, uh, especially just because of the river walk and what that means for your fan base and for the team. To take that many people, probably 30,000 people went down to San Antonio for that game was incredible. It's an infomercial for Iowa State University and it really sent mess a message across the country. I think that game took us to a whole nother level nationally in terms of what people thought about or, or think about this fan base and this program. As we've learned this year, as the stage gets brighter and the moments become more powerful, we need to be elite. We have elite players. We have elite team concept, okay? But when and how do our elite players elite all the time? Because our margin for error here is still really small. It's always gonna be that way, guys. I wish I could tell you different. I wish I could make it easier for you. You should have went somewhere else if you wanted easy. It'll never be easy here. It's always gonna be a grind and it's gonna take our best being their best at, on our 12 or 13 guaranteed opportunities to us. You know, for us, I think really fascinating to watch some of our first draft picks in a long time in this football program. Um, one of the things that all great programs have is eventually they have great players. And for us to watch guys like David Montgomery get drafted uh, by the Chicago Bears and Akeem Butler get drafted by the Arizona Cardinals and watch Willie Harvey take his talents and have the ability to make the Cleveland Browns roster. I think those things were really fun to watch and you know I, I think it's it's giving us credibility not only in terms of us having the ability to recruit great players here at Iowa State but the development that those guys were starting to make in our program and the ability to take and reach their full potential with their God-given ability uh, was an honor to watch and you know you talk about the end of season th three and where we were going into season four really a, a time for this program of can you prove it? Now all of a sudden, great expectations and national expectations um, about Iowa State football. Coach Campbell told me that coming here, things weren't going to be easy, and it's true. Um, you know, the first two years haven't been easy. So we got to take the next step as far as leadership and um, going from good to great in all aspects, and that's what we're going to do. This football team this year gave this football program the champion's heart. That's what you gave us. Okay, I'll say that again, and I'll say that again, and I'll say that again. <laughs> the champion's heart. How do I love and care and serve others around me? The only thing I would say is we dream bigger, okay? We better demand bigger. We better hold ourselves accountable bigger. We need to hold ourselves accountable bigger. If you want to dream big, if you want to live big, if you want to rise on the big stage, then hold yourself to the damn standard that the big stage demands. Bigger.
We sit at a, one of the most special times, I think, in, in Iowa State football history right now. And the opportunity and, and the challenge of going from good to great. And I think anybody that runs a business or runs an organization know that uh, the growth process is fascinating. And one of the greatest challenges that you have is taking that step to the, to the final peak of the mountain. And, you know, it's certainly been a time of great reflection for myself, our coaches, our players in our program, where are those margins and how do you fill them in? And one of the things that I'm probably more excited about than anything is the alignment in Iowa State football is the greatest it's ever been in our history. I joined Cyclone Nation to be part of the commitment to excellence, serve the student athletes, and to be part of the outstanding culture, family atmosphere. I'm here to assist Coach Campbell in the good to great mission while helping each athlete maximize their genetic potential. From the hiring of Coach Andrews and his amazing staff in the strength and conditioning room, to the hiring of our, our coaching staff, and to watching our kids and the investment that they're making right now in this, this program, it's as great as we've had. And so watching that, inspiring that, and really going forward with that is powerful. And, be honest with you to go to work every day with this group of men and this group of young men in our program it's quite an honor to be able to be the head football coach and it's an honor to go on this great journey that we're going on together.